Good morning, everyone. It's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor. <sighs> you know how um, you've been like getting ready and you sit down and you're five minutes early for something. And so you're like, I'll just scroll TikTok. I was doing that. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, what time is it? <laughs> I'd gotten so wrapped up in TikTok that I forgot what time it was and thought I had missed Friday Fat Five. But no, but no luckily I saw the time just in time to hop on here with you guys. So say hello and tell me where you're watching from and tell Mary Catherine, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mary Catherine. I just love that you told me it's your birthday. Some people are like anti-birthday. I don't get it. If, if it's my birthday, I want everybody to know <laughs> because it's so fun, right? Um, we should all be like little kids in that way. Charlie, when it's her birthday, she'll tell everybody. And even if it's not her birthday, she'll tell everybody when her birthday is going to be. Um, she was already talking the other day about what she wants to do for her next birthday. And it's not going to be till April 2023. Speaking of which, she has snuck in here. Charlie, I hear you. You're not as stealth and sneaky yeah. as you think you are. Come here and say hi to everybody. Yeah. Good morning, Deborah. Hey, Vicki. Hey. There's Sarah. Hey, girl. Oh, look, Hello. here's Charlie. Good Hello. morning. Hello. Got her hair down. Look how long this girl's hair is. So long. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> are you blushing? Her cheeks are pink. Why are you embarrassed? You wanted to sneak in here. Now you don't want to be on video? No? Okay, well, you don't have to be. But these ladies love you. Yes, you can have that box. She loves a good box. <laughs> There's something inside of it. Well, yeah, it's a box inside of a box, so that's even more exciting. <laughs> she found the box that my pair of eyewear glasses came in. I got a second pair of these, by the way, which is, this is not a Friday Fab Five item. I just thought I'd show y'all. Check them out. They're clear frames this time. So um, it kind of makes it to where certain ones of the toppers that are a little more translucent, you don't see the tortoise shell shining through them. Plus, I needed a second pair. I was always like putting these and my other ones in my purse and taking them in and out and all that. So now I have two pair. Uh, hey, Deborah. Hey, calm down over there. Goodness. <laughs> yes, Charlie just woke up about five or 10 minutes ago and she's been eating breakfast. Uh, good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, everybody. I see so many comments. I, I wish I could say hello to everybody. <laughs> so many possibilities, right? Uh, yeah, and I'm wearing the the watermelon toppers today. How cute are these? They do not match my sunflower shirt, but I don't care. It feels very summery, and I, I needed an excuse to wear them, so I'm wearing them today. <laughs> uh, it's trash. It went. It was in the with my glasses in the box. You gotta quit asking me questions. I gotta focus. <laughs> It's, I have a hard enough time focusing when she's not in here. Imagine when she is in here. Yes, Mary Catherine, um, but I think she's missing her brothers. We're supposed to go pick them up from camp this afternoon. Um, so, yeah, it's just been me, her, and her dad all this week. This is the Larkin frame. <laughs> Wanderlust paint tribe. She said, don't we all love a good box? Yes, and I'm like a, oops, my phone's ringing. I am a container um, hoarder too. So if there's like a good container that like a product came in and the product's now gone, I, I can't just throw that away. <laughs> I can't. Um, Lark These are the Larkin frames, Catherine. Um, I'll put a comment down here. This is not a Friday Fab Five item today, but um, since we were talking about the glasses, I'll go ahead and put the link down there. It has all the information about it plus a coupon code. Okay, let's move on. Friday Fab Five item number one. Charlie, you're going to have to go in the other room if you can't be quiet. If you want to be on camera, come sit with me. Okay. Do you? Yeah. But okay, I don't go. Have, but I don't have the center. Well, I then, like, then why don't you just go get, or just bring that one over here. <laughs> in the background, she's making all kinds of noises. And uh, I have a feeling she wants to be on camera. But what did you say? Hmm? nothing, I didn't say nothing. What did you say? Tell me. <laughs> I said you want to be on camera, but you're embarrassed to be on camera. No, not. Anna says I have new earrings that are glasses and they remind me of you. What? How cute. Okay, so our first Friday Fab Five item. We'll finally get started here. Uh, my sister in law, Whitney, who you guys know is the owner of Cotton Chaos, I was at her house uh, last weekend. We had a cookout. 
and I was helping her do the dishes and I saw this up in her cabinet. I was like, what is that? And she showed it to me and she's like, it's the best thing ever. You've got to get one. And so I did. <laughs> um, it is made, to, you guys probably already know what this is, but, and maybe you even have one, but it's made to hold like batter. You could do pancake batter or muffin batter or whatever you're making and you just squeeze the little handle it opens a valve and allows the batter to come out so you know how when you're making cupcakes or muffins and you're like trying to put the stuff in the muffin tins and it's getting drippy all over everything you use this and it makes it to where you can put like just the right amount in each one and you don't have the drips and the messes and then when you're making pancakes you don't have to pour it out of a bowl and try to get you know from making a mess there too. I'm going to use this. It's so cool. Um, so it's got measurements for um, one cup up to four cups on the side. You're awfully loud. Uh, I'm to All right, we'll get up there. One cup up to four cups. So it holds up to four cups of batter. You want to hold it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Charlie's with, with us now. Fun to play with. All right. I'm going to back the camera up so they can see you. <laughs> Sheila says uh, you're a container hoarder and it drives your husband crazy. <laughs> the problem is my husband's a container hoarder too. So there's two of us in this house. So we have all kinds of like cardboard boxes that we hate to get rid of and um, all kinds of things. Um, Anna says, have your kids ever watched YouTube videos of pancake art? My boys love watching yeah. them and they do I all have. kinds of crazy pancakes. That's neat. I have. You have? Yeah, I well, I not pancakes, but like I have been watching like other videos of noodles and like noodles. What do they do with noodles? Forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good morning, Maxine. Charlene says hi, Charlie. Hey. You see right there? Is this your comment? Hello. Okay, Friday Fab uh, Five item number two. We have finally, Hello. finally restocked brushes in the shop. Hey. So we have four packs of brushes in there um, and each pack has a different style tip. So here are the ones that are angle tip and each pack also comes with 12 of that size. So if you need an angle tip brush and um, you don't know, you know, I mean, like maybe you need a bigger one or a smaller one. This set has you covered. Um, please stop. The flat tip brushes, my fave. We use these all the time. Filbert tip brushes, these are awesome for hand lettering and stuff like that because um, especially if you're just trying to do like cute lettering, these probably aren't as good for um, script lettering, but if you're just doing like cute lettering, like what's on here, like it's a little thicker, um, <laughs> you, you can use these. Um, they're also great for making polka dots and flowers. And then the round tip brushes, these are definitely the ones for like scripty lettering that is very like thin and are not necessarily thin, but like, you know, has thicker down strokes and thinner up strokes and things like that. So they're $12 per set and you can purchase them individually. So, you know, if you don't have very many angle tip brushes in your, in your brush stash, maybe you just want to get the angles. If you don't, if you can't find filbert tips or you don't have very many of those, maybe you just want those. Or if you're, you know, a hoarder, a craft hoarder, you probably are going to want them all. And that's okay, too. Okay. <laughs> Lisa says, my son takes all of the cardboard to ride on with sidewalk chalk. I have never thought of that, Lisa, but writing on it with sidewalk chalk, that's a good idea. Um, we, I like to paint on cardboard because it feels similar to painting on wood. So a lot of times if I need to practice something, I'll practice it on uh, cardboard. <laughs> Everybody's saying good morning, Charlie. Good morning. She's now rifling through my craft closet to see what supplies over there she, or she can find. <laughs> what is this? Um, that is modeling clay. We're not opening that today. Yeah, but what is it? Modeling clay. Okay, you gotta quit distracting me. I got a I got a show to do here. <laughs> okay, Fab Five item number three. Oh, where are the brushes from? They're in our shop at shopdoorhangers.com, Blair. So this also is in our shop. This is item number three. Check out this adorable little ceramic camper. Um, I taught how to paint this in my painters clubhouse group. Um, was it was it at the beginning of June? 
And so we painted it like this. We also have cute little trucks to go with them. I did not link the trucks, but the trucks are in the collection with the, with the ceramics. So if you need a truck, there's two styles of truck. Um, there's nothing to actually connect these, but you know, if you wanted a truck and camper, you could like set these on the, on a table together or something, but they're super cute. This is super cute by itself. And so is this one, but they also pair well together. I just, I just forgot about this. Oh, your watercolors. Well, we'll have to do that later or you'll have to go do that somewhere else. Like over there. Yeah. Or in the kitchen. Oh, no, over there. And you're going to need a cup of water. Here, use this. Go put water in it. Okay. <laughs> um, so let's see. How much are the brushes? The brushes are $12 per pack. Um, let me go see. I forgot how much the little camper is. Let me go see real quick. That way I can tell you specifically. The camper is $18. When you paint on cardboard, do you prime it first? Mm. Only if you're going to be using like a really bright color, like a yellow or an orange or something like that. Or if you're using red, um, I would base coat with a gray. <laughs> She's a handful. Okay. Um, so that's item number three, right? Is that what we're on? One, two, three. Yeah. So my fourth item is, I got to look at my list. Oh, I was because I didn't have a physical item here sitting in front of me to show you for this. For this is number four. I wore this on my Facebook Live on Tuesday, and a lot of you guys asked where the shirt came from. This also is in our shop. So the last three items I've shared are in our shop. That's not normal. Usually, um, Fab Five items are not things that are in my shop, but lucky y'all, today they're all in the shop. Um, this one says she was born to paint, make pretty things, and inspire others to create. And of course, it's got the paintbrush and palette on the other side, and it's just really cute. So if you want a cute t-shirt, go grab that one. I believe it's about $25. The truck was $18, D. Uh, Lauren said, I needed to practice on something last night, so I used thick craft paper, and that worked well, too. Yeah, I would imagine that that's very similar to cardboard, only the problem with cardboard sometimes is, you know, it's corrugated underneath, so you've got a little bit of that bumpy sort of texture, but you wouldn't have that with the craft paper. You like the brushes? Okay. Um, so that was Fab Five. Item number four was the t-shirt. And number five is this kimono that I bought at Maurice's. I'm going to show you a picture of it, and then I'm going to show you the actual kimono. So here's what it looks like on the model on Maurice's.com. Um, I'm not wearing, I'm not going to wear it necessarily or style it, I guess I should say, like she has. I'm probably going to take the turquoise color that's in this. <coughs> it's kind of like this deep jewel tone turquoise. Um, and they have a dress um, that's kind of like a tank top t-shirt style dress um, in their store. And they did not have it in my size. So I had to order it on the website. So I don't have it in hand yet to show you. But it's like this color. And I'm going to wear the t-shirt dress and then pair this kimono on top of it. It's super cute. Look at the print on this. It's so pretty. It's got, Wait, so you could pair it what's with. That? It's a kimono. Oh, it's like, like a suitcase kimono. Yeah, like your little book that you have. Yeah. Um, so oh. you could pair it. You can pair it with orange, teal, yellow, tan, any of those colors. It's so pretty. And I really love the ruffly sort of sleeve that it has. I don't know if you could see that much on the model. Let me see. You can kind of tell on the model, but not as well. Um, but it's got like this lovely little ruffle sleeve. Now, the this was like the last one in the store, and it's a size medium. Now, I don't wear a size medium. I wear a large, sometimes extra large. But because this is like a kimono, it fit just fine. Um, so I'm going to put this over the top of like a turquoise T-shirt dress for like church. And then for like a date night, I'm going to put it over like um, leg, like like jeggings <coughs> or um, blue jean capris with a turquoise um, tank top that I bought on their website as well. The tank top's super cute. It's got like a, a cute little design over here on the side where it looks like it's kind of braided together. Um, I didn't have a, t a tank top in that color, so I ordered that as well. Um, how many of you guys shop at Maurice's? Mer Lauren says, I miss having Maurice's. You got to go when you're in town. She's coming to visit. Maurice, how long is it? Um, let me see. It does not go with what I'm wearing. Bear in mind. 
but let's see it goes it goes right about down to my knee and i'm only five foot four <laughs> so it goes right down to my knee <clears throat> they're cute over graphic tees too yeah and it actually it might i don't know i didn't even pay attention if it kind of clashed or looked good with this i don't kind of feel like it clashes but um <laughs> hey vanessa try it on with your shirt yes um debbie says i order online because of all the maurice's are closed here i love Marie maurice's the one here in um in our little town i go probably once a month and every single time i go i'm spending like anywhere from 50 to 100 100 dollars um lately I, it wasn't always that way ever since 20 after 2020 it's like the styles on their shelves changed i don't know if they got a new buyer but the styles are so much better Kat says I'm foot five foot four too. Yeah, we're short, aren't we? That's okay. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Lauren said they used to know me, me by name. I don't know if they know me by name, but they definitely know my face. All right. So that is all the Fab Five items. Our new designs that we put in the shop this week are all summer themed. We've got a neon pineapple. We've got a crab on the shore. We have a sandcastle. Um, we have a beach in a jar. And we have a welcome uh, serape sign. So it's kind of like that really cool um, serape pattern in the background with the cactuses on it. So hang on, let me finish talking. Uh, Charlie wants to do show and tell when this is over. In a moment, in a moment. Um, all of those designs are half price between now and Sunday. And then the blanks for those are 15% off. And if you're a Painters Clubhouse <laughs> member, be sure to use your 20% off discount code on those as well. Susan says, I'm four foot ten. Oh, wow. You're going to make me, you would make me feel tall. <laughs> um, and then, of course, it, we're getting near the end of the month. So if you um, are not a template club member, let me just say that it's an amazing deal. You get 20 or more templates every month for just thirty five dollars. And so um, if you were to sign up for template club right now and you can do that at Southern Adornments Decor.com. Just a minute. I'm not done. Um, if you were to sign up for template club right now, you would get the June bundle and then you would be billed again on July 1st to get the July bundle. And so, um, if you're interested in that, go to Southern adornments decor.com. Okay. Charlie is dying to show y'all her artwork. She did at school today or so yesterday. To tell them about it. I'll hold it. You tell them about it. Okay. So I, I draw the sand and then I colored it. Um, and then I, my friend at school, named Aubrey. She helped me with the birds and the sign. And then I did like the, I did the seaweed and the, the rocks. And Speak stuff. up. I did the rocks and stuff. Rocks and seaweed and, and coral. And those are the tubes. Oh, like the little tubes down in the ocean? Yeah. It's very detailed. And then. She drew all then, of this and colored it herself. And that's the cor coral and and I draw the <laughs> turtle and a starfish. Wanda says it's adorable. Kath says it's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she loves bringing home artwork from school and showing me. You're a good artist, aren't you? Me. <laughs> uh okay somebody is commenting it doesn't tell me who this is though so you may have to tell me what your name is um but she said that she is trying to sell her ticket to southern adornments live because she's not able to attend so you it i don't know why it's showing up as facebook user but it's not telling me who this is so definitely um tell me your name but if um if you have not done so already email customer service and let them know that you're trying to sell your ticket because um, I think they've been behind the scenes connecting people who are looking for tickets with people who have tickets. And so they could help you connect um, with somebody who might be looking for one. Everybody says you're quite the artist, Charlie. Thank you. <laughs> Hallie's watching. She says she loves it. You want to come you. say hi to Hallie? Yeah. Hallie is Aaliyah's granddaughter and her and her and Charlie are good buddies. Come say hi to Hallie. Hey, Hallie. <laughs> Yes, the event uh, is sold out. We um, we aren't selling any in-person tickets anymore. But if you're not able to attend, we do have virtual tickets that you can get at southernadornmentslive.com. And there are still a handful of the virtual uh, kits. And so the kit comes with most of the pieces. It's your, 
that you're going to need to make the items at home. You just might have to, you know, get your own paint, your own brushes, graphite paper, um, little <coughs> things like that, that, um, <coughs> that you might already have on hand. I bought it at Walmart. Ooh. Um, okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is changing. She's getting older. She's seven now. She's about to be a second grader. <laughs> Um, Anna asked a great question. She said, are there any door hanger workshops coming up? So, um, yes, in August, we will be doing another workshop, like a fall workshop. So um, I'm still trying to decide like what kind of design we're doing. I thought about maybe doing um, the letter workshop again. Do you guys remember the letter workshop we did? It wasn't this year. It was last year um, where we painted like three different uh, techniques on a letter. Did y'all like that? Would y'all like to do that again, but maybe do different techniques this time? Um, so I thought about that. What was the other thing I was thinking about? Um, I also thought about maybe just doing a repeat workshop of the one that had the buffalo plaid and three pumpkins because it was such a hit that I think people would like to do that one again. Um, but we we haven't we don't have the exact dates picked out. We don't have um, the design picked out. So those are things that we still need to decide on. But I would love y'all's feedback if y'all have ideas. Y'all like the ideas for letters? Somebody said something fall. Okay. So we might give you guys like a, we might make a post or something like that asking for feedback. And then we'll pick whichever one you guys are like the most excited to do. How about that? Well, I'm not talking about doing lettering. It's a wooden letter that's painted with a technique. That's what I was talking about, Ashley. Uh, Christmas designs. Awesome. Um, so, yes, there are virtual tickets available at Southern Adornments Live right now. They're not uh, they're not on sale, though. They're their regular price. Um, but if you're a Painters Clubhouse member, you can get $50 off. Allison says, I can't wait to get my big box of blanks. We are packaging those up. I was working on those last night. So they should be shipping out <coughs> by July the 1st. We are on track to ship them out by July the 1st. So I'm excited about that. All right, y'all. Go grab the new designs in the shop or any of the things that we talked about today. If you have questions that maybe I didn't answer here, definitely text me. I put my text <coughs> link up in the description. And if you have a Friday Fab Five item that you think the world should know about, um, I love sharing your items on here. So you can definitely text me about those as well. And I will see you next week. All right, y'all. Have a great weekend.